Today we're talking about events. And basically an event is a type of delegate. The main difference between an event and a conventional delegate is you can add and subtract subscribing functions to an event with uh, plus equal and minus equal. But you can't delete all subscribing functions by setting the event to null the way you can with conventional delegates. So the basic format of declaring an event is public event and then a delegate. And there's what's known as a default event handler delegate, which you've actually seen a million times if you've programmed any length of time in uh, C Sharp. The event handler delegate has a default signature, which looks like void event name, object sender, and event args E. And event args can be defined to contain all kinds of information. But quite often it's just set to, to uh, null if you don't want to pass any information aside from the sender. And to look at uh, an actual example of this, we need to run a test program which has a single button. It says raise event, uh, raise property event change because basically this is an event that happens whenever a property changes. And if you look at the uh, button code, you see it itself is a classic example of a uh, event handler. It has the uh, name of the event. It has a void return type. And it has object sender and event args ease passed as parameters. And within this handler, we define a class called handler events. And the handler events class has a event handler declared. And since it's the default event handler, we can actually use the keyword event handler in order to describe the signature of uh, a subscribing uh, function. So we have public event event handler, which gives it the standard signature for event handler. And then we give it the name on property change. And then we also need to define a property. So this is where having seen my uh, tutorial on defining properties and my tutorial on defining delegates will come in handy. But basically this is the property we define. It, ha it services a private variable called underscore prop and it has a git that just returns underscore prop and a set that just sets underscore prop, the two accessors. And within the set, I call the event uh, on property change. And I just use this as a uh, uh, sender object since the, this will be this class, handle events. And then we just invoke a new event args object with nothing in it since we don't really want to pass any information. And you might look at this and go, well, I see where it's declared as an event handler, and I see where it's called, but where does it actually get a subscribing function? And the answer to that is in the button event handler. And the button event handler, first we instantiate the class handle events. Then we take the uh, event that's defined in publicly in uh, handle events, uh, he dot on property change. And with a plus equal, we add the event handler, he on property change. So if you look down here, we have the he on property change subscribing function with a standard uh, signature with object sender and event args e. And all this subscribing function does is call a message box that says property uh, has been changed. And the only reason this gets evoked is if the property has indeed been changed. So you see the next statement after we set the event handler subscribing function 
as I say, he dot prop equals, and I give it a name value of Doug. So this changes a property which calls the event to be called. But if I were to comment this out, then clicking this button would essentially do nothing. It'd sign an event handler, but there'd be nothing to evoke the event handler. So let's save this code and run it. Now when we press the uh, raise property change, nothing happens. There's no message boxes or anything. However, if I go back and I uncomment out, actually I could use uh, control, uh, control E U if I want to be fancy to uncomment that. If I uncomment that out, kind of unnecessary with one thing, but what the hell. Uh, and now if I save this and compile it and run it, I press the raise property change. You see the message box pops up from the subscribing function. You know, the, the event handler that says prop property has been changed. So it is indeed handling an event, not just responding to the button being pressed. Well, I hope you learned a lot from uh, this uh, tutorial. And don't forget to subscribe.